Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I just wanted to come and run my mouth. Girl, I got some... Girl, I just finished eating, um... But these things right here... Maybe these things right here, I got a little piece left. I'm gonna hold on to it until after this video. But these things right here, maybe have a chokehold on me. Anyways, let me hear you so I can finish eating this little piece. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a little bite. Let me take like a little, little, little bite. I told somebody one time. No mind. That was it. I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> Wendy Williams. I got some of my teeth, y'all. Okay. Wendy Williams spotted filming secret project in New York restaurant. Sources say it looks like a reality TV show. The 58-year-old 58 58 former daytime talk show host was seen with an entire film crew at a New York uh, eatery recently suggesting she may be working on a new project. Uh, we previously reported on um, Williams' night out where she shared with paparazzi that she's doing well and down to 138 pounds. Reportedly, the TV uh, personality was dining uh, at Frisco by Scotto with her publicist, Sean Zanotti, and manager, Will Shelby, despite the evening uh, seemingly uh, being just a simple dinner with work friends, there was reportedly more going on with the gathering. According to reports, sources claim Williams came in with an entire production team. Reportedly, one insider stated basically it was a regular night. And then all of a sudden, Wendy Williams' train arrived. She had a huge crew. She basically turned Fresco by Sc uh, Sc Scotto into a movie set, adding lights, camera, audio, producers, etc. It looked like a reality show. One of the scenes was Williams. Uh, I'm sorry, it was Wendy having dinner with a friend. Uh, Wendy came into the dining room with a big personality, waving at all the guests like they were extras in her movie. <laughs> oh. Oh. Williams uploaded content from the night to her forthcoming podcast, The William Will Wendy Williams Experience Instagram page, uh, reposting footage of her interaction with paparazzi. <sighs> the reports know that neither Williams nor her reps have commented on the on the project at this time. What y'all think? Y'all think that if Wendy Williams was shooting a reality show, would you watch it? Oh, girl. This is the thing, right? For those who know Wendy Williams, we know that Wendy is a very private person. Um... She don't really tell her business like that. And the times that she has told her business, she ain't have no choice. <laughs> okay? Um, I don't know what to think. If Wendy is filming a reality TV show, I will say this much. From what I've seen the last couple of times that I've seen her uh, speak, she does seem like the old Wendy. Now, does she look like the old Wendy? That could be up for debate. You know, Miss Thing, she can't walk. She can't walk. Um, I mean, she can, but she gonna have to have a shoulder to lean on because she have a hard time walking. Outside of that, you know, her personality seems to be there. At one point, you know, I was like, oh, girl. I thought it was, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I thought that it was a, a wrap for my auntie. I felt like any day I was going to log on to the blogs and girl, they was going to say that my auntie had went home to glory. And I didn't know what I was going to do. Girl, that's how I would have had a fit. Oh, girl, I would have had a fit on here. Um, but no, for real though. Um, I, I really didn't. I, I really, it wasn't, it just, it just seemed like to me, everything was going down like a downward spiral. Like, and I was like, great, any day we're going to get the news that Wendy Williams has passed away. I just really felt that. 
I did. I ain't, you know, I ain't trying to kill nobody off, girl. I ain't trying to, you know, I ain't trying to send nobody home to glory. No time to where they want to go, but that's just how I felt. Um, and then I remember my first time really seeing her and it seemed like she was back to normal was when she did like a little interview where she had like, I think on those shaggy boots. And I said, like, oh, Wendy looks like, okay. She sounded like the old Wendy, the messy Wendy that we grew to love. This last little interaction that I saw online the other day she seemed like she was back to normal again you know the only thing that's kind of just okay is her walking i just hope that the people over there are not i just hope they mean wendy well that's what i hope i hope i hope they mean wendy well i hope that she doesn't have people in her corner um like britney spears ha had in her corner um I just hope that everything, if she's shooting a reality show, if she feels like this is something, the route that she, I mean, everybody, everybody takes a different career route every day. So, you know, even though I never would have, uh, you know, thought that Wendy would go the reality route, if this is true, um, I'm sure that Wendy never really thought that she would be in the situation either. So again, things change, careers change people take a different route as it pertains to their career every day. So, I mean, if this is the case, shout out to Wendy, though. <laughs> um, girl, listen to this. Okay, let me ask y'all a quick question. <laughs> I still can't believe people don't think this goes together. Just go ahead and try it, and you're going to find out if it do. And basically, it was a picture of some fried fish and spaghetti. One thing I realized, that's that's why it's important to meet people and have conversations with folks because, girl, I think sometimes people... I, I remember one time I had a teacher, a professor, Dr. Taylor. It was a black lady. And I remember she was going off on us one day. Not me, them, okay? But she was going on off, she was going on, going off on us one day. And something had happened. And it stuck with me to this day. And her whole thing, you know, y'all have heard me say this plenty of times, stop thinking that the world starts and stops on your block. And ever since she said that, I said, ooh, girl. That was one of my biggest things, like, when the whole, girl, not to go backwards, but when the whole mess happened with, like, season five, Potomac, I was like, girl, y'all, like, y'all have this, not y'all, but y'all, shout out to the diva. Y'all have this way of thinking that, girl, the world operates where you grew up. Because that's all I heard people say, well, where I grew up from, well, on my block, well, where I grew up. Girl, there is a big world out there, and everybody does not operate on your block. <laughs> girl. Um, all that to say this. Girl, I had never heard of people putting uh, spaghetti as a sign until I met a few people. This one girl I knew... She from, see, she's from St. Louis. She said that they use spaghetti as a side dish, too. I was like, girl, what? <laughs> I was like, huh? She was like, and this other woman I met, one day she cooked, and she invited us to her house. Girl, I still remember, because she was real cool, girl. Um, I say her name because she was cool. I used to call her Mama Tina sometimes. Her name was Tina. We used to work together. Nice, nice, nice. Um, she invited, I remember she invited me, uh, she was a black lady, she was a black lady. Um, she invited me, this trans girl, um, also her partner, like, she was just nice and cool, girl, and she cooked for everybody, the girl, the one of the, some people didn't come out, <laughs> girl, I went, <laughs> I went, girl, she had, she got, I think she had like five, she had like a young, all, I think all of her kids were grown except for her son, her son was... At the time, I think her son was only like, he's probably like grown now. I think at the time, her son was probably like 14. Um, but she was cool. She had everybody over. She had, she, well, I, like I said, the other girl didn't come. You know, she told, she can't brought him out. She introduced him to everybody. Like, she, it was real cool, 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 cool. Anyway, she had cooked, she had barbecue, and she also had spaghetti as a side. And I was like, I have never. People using spaghetti as a side. Like, one of my good friends, I remember her telling me that they 
like her family would use red beans and rice as a meal. I was like, oh baby, no red beans and rice was a side. I said probably that's, that's probably why we that's probably why that's probably why I'm so thick, thick and cornbread fed because my mom and them girl red beans and rice was a side. So like if they fried chicken, they were fried chicken. Girl, they'll probably have some green beans, some yam, some some sweet some sweet potatoes. We call them candy yams, candy yams, and red beans and rice. And cornbread. Girl, that's all one meal. <laughs> now spaghetti was a meal, but that was that like but then they would probably have like um a salad to go with it. And like even some cornbread. Yes. But like when I saw the hearing people I, I was like, Y'all really make salad I mean spaghetti as a side. There was a couple of food trucks in Houston. Um, where they would also use spaghetti as a side. I was like, I've never heard of, I mean, now I know about it, but, you know, up until like some years ago, I had never heard of people using spaghetti as a side. And it just made me think of that when I saw this post the other day, that girl, people really use spaghetti as a side. That's a meal. Now that's a meal to us. Spaghetti? Honey, then you know, girl. Depending on, depending, depending on if girl, how many kids you got in the family, honey, girl. You know, your mama make a, a pot of spaghetti, honey. That was really gonna last you for two days, <laughs> girl. Okay, you know, spaghetti is like a cheap. Believe it or not, for some people, girl. You know, but spaghetti can be a really cheap and um, fulfilling meal. Because when you think about it, girl. If you're not making like homemade, you know, sauce and stuff like that, girl, you get you a couple of bottles of uh, ragu, uh, prego, girl, get you a little, a little thing of ground meat and some noodles, honey, you good to go. Girl, make you a little pan of cornbread, make a little side salad. Girl, you you good, girl. Anyway, child, do y'all use, um, do y'all use, um, spaghetti as a side? Spaghetti is a meal. But girl, if you put some red beans and rice in front of me, girl, I'm gonna ask you what a meat at. Girl, what a poor child. <laughs> girl, girl what you want to some red beans and girl, what you want to some red beans and rice in front of me? And girl, ain't no meat on this on the plate, girl. What a fried pork chop at? Girl, y'all don't. Girl, like, y'all ain't gonna. Y'all ain't find no chicken. Y'all didn't find no chicken. Y'all didn't bake no chicken. So what, what are we gonna eat with this? <laughs> what are we eat with the, what are we eating with this with this red beans and rice? I guess that's how y'all would feel though with spaghetti, girl. What are we eating with this spaghetti? <laughs> yeah, right. So I guess you know everybody got their own got their own uh, got their own stuff. <clears throat> I'ma leave I'ma I'ma leave Holly alone. Is it Holly? You know I said you know I still can't say her name. The Little Mermaid. That's what I call her. Haley. Holly. Like Holly Berry. Okay. Holly Bailey. I'ma leave Holly alone. <laughs> Holly Berry. Yeah, I'ma leave I'ma I'm I'm call her the Little Mermaid. So I'ma leave the Little Mermaid alone. But I don't know what it is. I just you know what I feel like? This is what I feel. While yes, I think that a lot of people can agree that they have had to kiss a lot of frogs to finally find their prince. Um, and that what is happening with Haley, from what we can see, Holly, um, from what we can see, um, is not out of the norm, right? Girl, people get with guys. You know, because for me, I think the guy DDG is just embarrassing her. Like, I saw something the other day of him saying that, like, Blueface was his homeboy. I said, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, girl, I need all the Disney girls to go get... <clears throat> I need y'all to go get her and take her into the woods. And Like, I really want Zendaya to, girl, like, kidnap her and be like, sister, this is not what we doing, girl. Your career is about to take off. And, girl, you cannot have this nigga, girl, attached to you. Girl, he is going to bring you down. I get... Th this is my thing, right? I get that it's normal for people to go through stuff in relationships. But I think the difference between Haley and maybe you 
is that when you were probably going through whatever you were going through with some no good nigga or someone who people probably thought wasn't good for you, that it wasn't it wasn't um, on a world stage, right? A few people probably knew. They probably talked about you on Facebook, you know, somewhere with your family and friends. Other than that, it wasn't going to probably affect your career. Um, with Haley, Holly, <laughs> the Little Mermaid, <laughs> I'm going to get her name right. I think what could potentially happen for her with this movie could really be a life changing experience for her. Like, I really think that if this movie does well and is received well and, girl, just blows numbers out of the box office, that, girl, this is going to take her career to another level. But I think what's going to hold her back is that nigga who likes to get online and say the reason why she's staying is because he got good dick. Like, then you would never see Tom, the little white boy who Zendaya been linked to, getting on the internet talking about Zendaya crazy over him because he got good dick. You see what I'm saying? Like, I really want, I really want Haley to like, girl, I saw Zendaya the other day on the red carpet. And when I tell you, I caught my everlasting life. I was like, girl, this is what, girl, this is what I want for the Little Mermaid. But girl, she don't want it for herself. Serve it. Serve it. Serve it. She don't want it. You better serve it. May I get over the shoulders and Yes, ma'am. Oh. I just, I just want my girl, I, I just, I'm done with it. Cause like I said, girl, you know, Holly is grown um, and she's going to do what she want to do. And like I said, girl, a lot of people have been in the same position as Holly in love, young, in love, you know, and girl, it's my man, my man, my man, my man, my man. Right. But I just think that, again, the opportunity that uh, I, that I Holly has in front of her is completely different from the opportunities that you may have had in front of you. Also, no one was talking about you on the world stage or no one was posting your boyfriend on the shade room every other day for something inappropriate. Right. He's a t girl, your your boyfriend was not getting on. You know, they were not posting on the shade room that your boyfriend is homeboys with blue face. You see what I'm saying? Like, girl, nobody is going, like, I'm sorry, but girl, you are the company that you keep sometimes, right? And I just would hate for opportunities that could, that that will be at laying at Holly's feet to go away because of some nigga. I'm just saying. But I wish her the best, though. I wish her the best. Again, I know she's young. That's why I, That's why I'm really not going in. You know, because any other day, I'll be like, girl, you stupid, you dumb. But I can't go in on, on her like that because I know she is young. And, girl, the truth of the matter is, girl, when you are in your 20s, people do, we do get people in their 20s a pass for doing stuff that we're like, oh, girl. But I also think that, girl, Zendaya and her homegirls, I think Zendaya, Kiki, <laughs> girl, Kiki Palmer, Zendaya especially, they all need to, girl, yank, girl, Miss Thing, and, girl, run up, take her into the mountaintops just for 24 hours and have a sit down with her. Like, girl, <laughs> girl, girl, you are about, girl, when this movie come out, girl, your life is about to change for the better all, oh, girl, for the worse, okay? And you need to know what's about to happen. Anyways, girl, I'm done. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.